Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat. If you didn't catch yesterday's video, I released my first ever sample pack in honor of hitting 100 subscribers. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, just click back one video and uh, the link to download it is in the description. It's completely free. But anyway, I thought we would take that sample pack and then go ahead and put those samples on the OPZ and have some fun. So in order to do that, we're going to need to go to a website called op1.fun. And that's literally the website. It's op number one period f-u-n and uh, once you're there you'll want to sign up and create an account it's free it takes like 30 seconds and then you're going to go to patches so what op1.fun is is basically a utility tool for op1 and opz uh, owners where they can create patches and share them with each other synth patches drum kits uh, all kinds of stuff it's amazing uh, you could spend hours on here, you know, downloading stuff. This is where I got that vibraphone patch for my OPZ. This is where I got my piano and my guitar patches. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, you go to patches, and then you click new patch. Then you're going to click drum patch builder. And now you'll see... Sorry, the reflection is really bad. I'm trying, but uh, filming a laptop screen is hard. But now you'll see here we've got two octaves worth of keys. Uh, luckily, the OPZ and the OP1 have the same amount of octaves, so this translates just fine. And this is where you're going to load your samples in. Now, the only thing is that the sample, the total sample time per kit cannot exceed 12 seconds. So you're going to click Load Samples, and I'm already in the Kit Pieces folder, and I've sorted them by type so only the WAV files, or so all the WAV files are together here. So now we're going to select the samples we want to import. Now for my particular sample patch, I made a lot of them for the PO33 specifically, so there are a lot of layered sounds. But since the OPZ has polyphony in all of its drum tracks, we don't really need those. So we just need the individual sounds. So we've got Crash 1, that'll work. Crash 2, I'm holding Control and clicking to uh, copy these, or to select them. Kick, yep. Let's do Open Hi-Hat. Ride. Yep, and we don't need snare bark, snare crash one, snare crash two. We just need snare, and then tom one, and tom two, and then you'll click open, and it'll load those in. You can see there's your uh, your sound wave up there, and it'll tell you 11.18 seconds. So 12 is the max. So we came in just under. Awesome. You can sort these around here. Um, not a huge deal, I don't think. I do like. Well, how do you drag them around? Oh, like this. I see. Maybe? I've never actually used this feature. Eh, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, it doesn't, doesn't bother me too much. So anyway, we're going to click Save. And then, you can see there's the patch. Now we're in Edit Patch. Uh, I, keep, I, I uncheck the public box. I don't like my patches to be public. I'm going to name this. Uh, F B kit free beat kit. Oh, accept it. <laughs> it clicked off. Kit. There we go. And there you can type a description if you want and a license. And then you're just going to click save patch. And it's going to bring you here. And then you can just click download. From there, it's going to download an A I F F audio file, which is what the OP1 and the OPZ read for their drum kits and for all their samples, I believe. And then it's gonna download from there. You're gonna take it and bring up your OPZ. I'm actually gonna stick a thumb drive in my laptop and bring this file over to the desktop because it's a little easier for me to film. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so here we are at my computer. You can see I've got the, uh, the kit file right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over to the OPZ here and you're gonna, just like last time, well, first let's we're gonna turn it on. Let's find out where to put it. So last time we did this, we had a whole bunch of different kicks, a bunch of different snares, a bunch of different cymbals. So we put them all into their own categories. But this is kind of just one sound of each, and we want to be able to play the whole thing like a kit from the same patch. So for that, I like to use the sound effects patch, which is or bank, which is number four, uh, right there. And uh, then we're going to look. Remember, all these white LEDs indicate if it's full or not. So we do have uh, seven and eight are both empty. So let's. Go ahead and we'll remember we're going to put it in patch or uh, yeah, sorry, track four, bank seven. Okay, so let's turn off the OPZ and now we're going to hold track 
and then turn it on and wait for all of the LEDs to turn green. Okay, now we're gonna take our USB cable, which is plugged into the computer. We're gonna plug it into the OPZ. And the computer made the little chime, which means it acknowledges it. And here we are right now, we're in the OPZ. I'm gonna turn the camera a little so you guys can see a little better. There we go. So now you're gonna to go to sample packs. And remember we're going to track four, bank seven, and it's completely empty. So now let's uh, take our kit here. Oh, you guys can't see that, sorry. We're gonna take this kit and we're gonna drop it into bank seven. And then we're gonna go down and find whatever USB drive your OPZ was recognized as and click eject. Oh, it's still copying. That's weird. There we go. <laughs> so it ejected, and now you'll notice all the LEDs turned blue and then ran through the little chase, which means they are ready to go, and this is ready to be turned off, unplugged from the computer, and now we have the samples on here. Let's go sit down with the OPZ and play around with it. All right, so here we are at the OPZ. The samples are loaded up. So now, if we hold track and go to track four, now if we go to bank uh, seven, there's our sounds. Now you'll notice that, just like the other drum sounds on the Neil Peart kit, they do uh, cut themselves off. They don't play the whole thing, unless you hold the sample. So that's easy, we hold track, and we go to the blue dial, we spin it all the way to the right. There's all of our drum sounds. And now we can play it just like a kit. So uh, there's snare and bass, there's hi-hat. So we can just go like this. <laughs> just like that. Uh, however, we should probably actually sequence it and then we can play with the effects. Now I will say, if you want to do something more complex, you can put the kick on the kick track, the snare on the snare track, and all the cymbals on the cymbal track, and the toms on the effects track. That way you can program it a little more in-depth like we did with the Neil Peart kit. But for today's purpose, we're just going to do a simple pattern. So let's take our hi-hat. Let's do eighth notes across the board. There we go. So now we actually want to add a bass drum on one and on three. So we're going to hold that first. Uh, actually, there's our bass drum. So we're going to hold this. We're going to press the hi-hat again. So it adds it in, and the bass drum. We're gonna do that again on uh, three here. And you'll see they're both lit up. Uh, each step in the percussion tracks has two note polyphony, which is really powerful. Oh, <laughs> I hit the play button twice, that's funny. So really quick, let's hold metronome and uh, use the red dial to turn it off. So now on two and four, we're going to want a snare drum. So uh, one and two right there. Actually, okay, there's the snare drum. So hit the hi-hat again, and then the snare drum. Then go to four, same thing. Now let's hit play. I definitely put the, uh, the snare drum in the wrong spot. <laughs> do that, do that. Okay, so that needs to be just hi-hat. This one, there we go, that's four. There we go. Super cool. So, um, all the same features of the OPZ work with this track because now this is just in here as another sound. So, for instance, uh, if we add another hi hat at the very, very end there on the uh of four, we can hold shift and select that step and use the step component uh, to skip it and only play it every two times. So, now let's listen. You can see there I did one of the little punch-in effects by holding shift, too. But So you can do all the same stuff, and this applies for all of the audio effects as well. So, you guys know I love the filter. Pitch works. Um, 
And I never talk about the blue wheel on the percussion track, but when you spin that, you can actually play sounds in reverse. So let's listen to this. Super cool. In fact, you can even like go into the actual bass drum check and <laughs> just like that you're jamming. like that you're you're jamming you know you're rocking out so uh <laughs> let's go ahead and clear the bass drum and snare drum tracks but there's this thing is so powerful um think of all the possibilities you know let's go back to our, our sample track here let's uh set the pitch back to normal set the samples back to normal and set the filter where is it there we go back to normal so all of the same parameters work uh, that includes the effects there's some delay. Panning works. You can go left, you can go right. Of course, volume works. Um, the LFO page works just fine. It's it's amazing what you can do. Let's turn the delay off. And uh, you can also, you know, the tape track works. So. You can hold the pitch down bring the track to a crawl. The performance track works. There's just so much you can do with this. And uh, I think this is one of the most powerful devices to come out in such a small form factor, probably ever. Um, just blows my mind and I am really excited about the sample pack because this is actually believe it or not the first time I've heard them outside the computer so uh, very cool um, I think that they sound pretty decent to me and I'm really excited to see what you guys do with them um, I think the next video maybe we'll try to make a track on the OPZ with the sample pack and uh, after that maybe we'll do a little bit of work on the PO33 with them as well so I hope you guys are excited for that if you are and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like on the video. If not, you can click dislike. That's okay too. Either way, be sure to hit subscribe. Click that tiny little bell. It turns on the notifications so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. That's right. We upload every single day here. Aside from that, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.